David Hacks ride at the Motorcycle TV Series and the 2018 78th Annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally are being brought to you by Keyboard Motorcycle Shipping, Econo Lodge, Rapid City, South Dakota, the Texas Roadhouse, Rapid City, South Dakota, Banana Boat Sun Care Products, Vance and Hines, Amsoil, the First in Synthetics, Dunlop Motorcycle Tires, Condor, North American Arms, Wrangler, FindMeSpot.com, and Coleman, moving forward. At Banana Boat, we test our broad spectrum sunscreen so it stays on in seven conditions. In pool water, in wind, of course in sweat, in sand, sun, 100 degree heat, and ocean water. Banana Boat stays on in all seven conditions for UVA, UVB protection and fun. Banana Boat, we've got you covered. knowing that a perfect stay awaits at Country Inns and Suites. Take a load of any, take a load for free, take a load of any. Here, we'll do anything to make sure you have everything you need. You put the load right on me. Book now at countryinns.com. Relax, the rest comes easy. Keyboard Motorcycle Shipping is the world leader in transporting motorcycles. Your bike is loaded by specially trained keyboard drivers using a one-of-a-kind design patented platform to hold the bike securely in place while being transported and making sure that your bike arrives safe and sound at your destination. There's only one motorcycle shipper that you can trust, and that's Keyboard Motorcycle Shipping. For more information, call 270-737-5797 or visit KeyboardMotorcycleShipping.com. Well, this is the day that Bob and I have been waiting for, for keyboard motorcycle shippers to show up, load up the two bikes, and haul them to Sturgis. Now, I got Steve over here, and I got Fred over here. They're the drivers, and they're going to uh, load the bikes and get them to Sturgis for us safe and sound. Well, today, joining me is Dennis Roby, who is the owner-operator of Keyboard Carriages. Dennis, first off, I want to say thank you for taking time here to uh, join me. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, keyboard and uh, how you got started. And I know we were talking previously. You told me that uh, you got, uh, in 1978 and uh, 80, you were learning the business. Uh, yeah, I started with the music industry, transporting uh, pianos. Uh, <clears throat> I had worked for a truck line, got the opportunity to put a couple trucks on uh, with Baldwin. I uh, knew nothing about the industry, but by 80, I had six trucks on with them and was learning uh, the industry. It's a specialized. In 80, uh, it had done so well, we started picking up Pulitzer, Yamaha, Steinway, and uh, that's, that's what got it started. Well, then you told me that a friend asked you to transport some motorcycles. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Uh, we had... Uh, in Elizabethtown, uh, Kentucky, right. uh, just south of that, we had a, I had a friend, and a, he had the two dealerships for Indian in Kentucky. Dennis is going to transport Bob and my bikes to Sturgis this year, and we're going to show you how they load those bikes and how the platform that he has patented holds the bikes in place and how much care they actually take uh, of the bikes for the customer. So... When they arrive, whatever rally that they're at, guess what? The motorcycle's there? It is, and we, uh, we set up their date for arrival, and uh, there'll be people coming at different times, 
and they catch their flight and uh, we'll have somebody that have their bike ready for them. And uh, had just planned on doing this, this one dealer a favor. However, um, when we got um, out there and sent pictures of it, the Indian wanted to know if we was interested in other dealers. Uh, now you do rallies and uh, you know like uh, Myrtle Beach, Sturgis, uh, Daytona Bike Week and all those. We started uh, doing the rallies <clears throat> because we had Indian American Iron Horse, Big Dog, and we was transporting their product to the rally and they would set up for sales. And uh, that turned into we had a whole lot of uh, uh, individual customers that were saying, can we get it transported in? Because their vacation time was limited. Yes. And uh, they didn't want to spend a week getting there and a week getting <laughs> back. They wanted to spend their time at the rally. Yeah, I <clears throat> started this uh, in when I was 27. And you're how old? And I'm 67, so for 40 years, it's, uh, it's hard to get it in this one little, little segment, but, but I do appreciate the time. Well, I do appreciate you uh, hauling the bikes. Anyway, that's it with uh, Dennis Roby from uh, Keyboard Carriages. I, I was surprised. Both bikes are loaded. Thanks to uh, Fred and Steve. They did a great job. They're all the way to the front of the trailer. And here, I want to thank Keyboard Motorcycle Shipping for uh, putting this package together with us to get these bikes to Sturgis. So thanks. We appreciate it. Bob and I made it to Minneapolis, and uh, from here we've got about a three hour layover, and we're gonna go and get on another Delta flight and go to Rapid City, South Dakota. It's about 45 minute flight. Good morning. I'm standing here at the entrance to the Custer State Park. Now, you have to pay to get in. It's $10 per bike. Once we're in here, this is all about uh, the wildlife and protecting the wildlife that are in the Custer State Park. Uh, it's a beautiful ride. It's a beautiful morning here in South Dakota. We're going to go into the park and we're going to show you some of the sights and hopefully we might run across some buffalo. I'm here in uh, Custer State Park and we're taking a little break right here at this uh, station and I got three riders. Uh, tell me your name and uh, where you're from. Dan Carlson, Esco, Minnesota. And you? Jim Peel, Elborn, Minnesota. Uh, Terry from Duluth, Minnesota. All right. And how many times have you guys have uh, attended the uh, Sturgis Rally? Oh, six my first year, every year since. Uh, this would have been my 18th year. I missed one year last year. My fiance wasn't feeling well and back at her. I got about five years in intermittently. Well, there you go, a couple of three guys that enjoy coming to Sturgis and enjoying this beautiful country here in South Dakota. Behind me I've got a group of riders from Australia and joining me is Brett Cross, better known as Crossy. Crossy, thanks for taking time. Uh, tell me, why are you all here? We're all here for uh, Sturgis, of course. What else will we be here for? And I know you told me you're riding different states and everything. Yeah, one group came from Las Vegas, uh, led by Bookham, and I led the crew from uh, San Francisco. So you're all meeting here to uh, do the Sturgis thing? Yep, in about 15 minutes we're all going to ride in together and have a great time at Sturgis. How many different cities from Australia do you have represented in this group? I could probably do states better, but I can... Who is from New South Wales? Yeah. Queensland! Yeah. Victoria! Yeah. Northern Territory! Yeah. WA! Yeah. South Australia? Yeah. 
<laughs> Tasmania? Yeah, we got Tasmanians. So we got them from everywhere, all over, all over the states of Australia, everywhere. Well, you're well represented, and listen, I hope you enjoy your ride. I know this is not your first time. How many, how many times have you been to this event? This is my sixth. All right, and how about the rest of them? Who's been once? Who's first? Who's second? Third? Fourth? Fifth? Six. Twelfth, Nick, he's gone, so. So, you know, they've all been here a number of times, which is great. We, you know, I'm glad they're here enjoying the United States and uh, their ride. Listen, thanks again. No problem. It's a pleasure. Thank and you. ride safe and enjoy yourselves. All of you, enjoy yourselves. Yay! There you go. Party. Great group. Party. 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 <laughs> well, there you, go. there you go. Great group of riders, you know, can't get any better than that. They're all here from Australia. Bob and I stayed at the Econo Lodge in Rapid City, South Dakota. And I want to say a special thanks to Mitch Eller, general manager of the Econo Lodge. There was ample room to park your bike, trailer, pickup truck, or whatever you had. And the atmosphere at the Econo Lodge was very, very nice. There was a swimming pool with a slide and a jacuzzi. Breakfast was very, very good. The rooms, they were outstanding. Housekeeping made sure you had clean towels in room every day. And a special thanks to all of the Econo Lodge staff. Well, today, Bob and I are entering the Badlands National Park. And if you come to South Dakota, this is one place that you have to visit. There's an abundance of wildlife here. Uh, the sandstone and all that is just spectacular. So you got to make the loop. You got to come to the Badlands here in South Dakota. Something you got to see. I'm in now Wall, South Dakota, and right now I'm at Wall Drug, and with me is Rick Husted, who is the general manager of, of this establishment. Tell me about Wall Drug and how this place came about. Well, Wall Drug started in 1931 when my grandparents, Ted and Dorothy Husted, bought the patent medicine store on the other side of Main Street. And it was the Dirty 30, the Dust Bowl eras. Uh, they were going broke, they were living in the back 20 feet of the store behind a curtain with their four-year-old son, Billy, my dad. They, they gave it five years, and the fifth year, Dorothy had an idea, they had no customers. All the people were going through the Badlands, on their way through Walt to Rapid City and Mount Rushmore. She said, Ted, we gotta let them know we're here, let's put up a sign, get a soda, get a beer, turn next corner just as near to Highway 16 and 14, free ice water, Wall Drug Store. Ted went out and put up the first sign, and actually we weren't even called Wall Drug then, we were Husted's Drug Store, but she thought Wall was catchier, named after the town of Wall. And then Ted thought if one sign had the impact, because customers stopped right away, he said, what would 20 or 30 wall drug signs do? And he kept putting them up. So all the little shops you see is, yeah. is wall drug and run by you? Yes. And how many stores are in here? About 30 different stores. And you can buy just about anything that you want? Just about it, yeah. Everything from 
rattlesnake ashtrays to cowboy boots to Levi's. Wall Drug's a great stop. It's a, a great stop for, for the Sturgis Motorcycle ra Rally. Uh, we're we're here, here to serve and entertain our customers, and we, and we really enjoy it when people uh, stop at Wall Drug and come back again. Well, Rick, I want to thank you. It's been very interesting. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. And we'll have lunch. And hey, this is Wall Drug here in Wall, South Dakota. Make sure you stop here because it's well worth it. Rapid City Econo Lodge is just off Interstate 90 and it's located at 625 East Disc Drive, Rapid City. It is centrally located to most tourist attractions. Coffee makers, mini fridges, and microwaves are offered in each room, plus free Wi-Fi and 42-inch flat screen TVs with cable channels. There is a heated indoor pool, a water slide, and a hot tub. The daily continental breakfast and all-day coffee are complimentary. The hotel is motorcycle friendly with large vehicle parking. For reservations, call 605-342-6400. With new styles and great fits, Wrangler jeans are ready for anything. The only question is, are you? Wrangler. New styles, great fits. When it comes to guarding your diesel engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance you demand. Amsoil Signature Series diesel oils provide six times more wear protection than required by a leading diesel engine manufacturer. Give your hard-working truck the protection it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. See the whole line of diesel products at amsoil.com slash diesel. Hi, my name is Wayne. I've been coming here since 1973. We've been here 25 or 26 times and we enjoy it every time we get here. In the background, and you can probably just barely see it, that is the Devil's Tower, and that is located here in Wyoming. And of course, this was in the movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So, we're gonna get uh, on our bikes, we're gonna head there, and we'll be there shortly, and we'll uh, show you some other things that are involved in the, in the uh, Devil's Tower. Hello, my name is John. I'm a volunteer here during Bike Week, Sturgis Bike Week. I've been coming up here for 20 years, and uh, what you see behind you is Devil's Tower. We have a gentleman climbing it right now. Uh, the height of the tower is about 867 feet. The average climber takes about, oh, four and a half, five hours to get to the top of it, and about 45 minutes to an hour to get down. I'm joined by Mike Coronado, who is the owner of the Ponderosa Cafe here in Hewlett, Wyoming. Mike, thanks for taking time to join me. Absolutely. Thank tell, me you. About, tell me about the Ponderosa. Well, the Ponderosa has been here long before me. Uh, we bought the place about 12 years ago, and we wanted to create uh, an atmosphere in the bar uh, of a place like we would hang out in New Jersey, where we come from. Okay. And we wanted to change the sort of uh, style of food 
uh, upscale it a little bit, and we've done that over the past 12 years. We uh, serve prime meats. We just recently started using uh, all Wyoming beef, oh. um, and co we used Colorado lamb. So uh, it was a nice little place when we got it, but we've made it our own over the last 12 years. Uh, my brother is a Western artist. A lot of the stuff on the walls, it's it's threefold. Uh, my brother Bob's the Western artist. Uh, my brother Tom is the World War II collector, and the rest of the rock and roll and sports stuff is mine. <laughs> so between the three of us, we've created this this little haven. Uh, you know, we get a nice side effect from the Sturgis Rally. Right. We're a small town. We don't raise our prices. We try to maintain a quality right. menu. Uh, we have bands. We do whatever we can to add to the party. So that's what we do. Well, I got to tell you, we had lunch, and lunch was excellent. I mean, and it was very, very fast, the service. I'll tell you what, when you're in Hewlett, you definitely have to stop here at the Ponderosa Cafe. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you got to stop because the food is excellent, and the staff is also very, very good. Mike, thank you very much for taking time. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, guys, and we appreciate you coming in. We hope to see you next year. There you go. All you had to do was sign a form and then put your life in the hands of the driver. I'm here at the uh, Ruby House in Keystone, South Dakota, and we just had lunch, and it was excellent. Bob had a Monte Cristo, and I had the pork tenderloin sandwich. And I want to say a special thanks to Brent Brandy Hunsacker for uh, providing the uh, the meals to us. Uh, this place, when you're in Keystone, you've definitely got to stop here at the Ruby House because great menu, excellent staff, uh, and a nice atmosphere. So once again, thank you to Brandy Hunsacker, general manager here at the Ruby House in Keystone, South Dakota. Danielle, Sioux Falls, three years. With me is Jeremy Baum, who is the uh, managing partner for the Texas Roadhouse here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Jeremy, I know you're busy, and you were here last night, and you're back here again today, so I do appreciate you taking time. Tell me, how did you get into this, and how long have you been a managing partner here? Well, I got into restaurants when I was about 16 years old. I've always had a passion for cooking, and uh, you know, I started managing restaurants when I was 21. Wow. And, you know, 17 years of that, and about seven years ago, Tex Roadhouse asked me to join the team here, and with a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and <laughs> grinding it out, seven years later, uh, I got offered the store, and I had a great mentor, the old partner, Donnie Plymel, used to work yeah, here, so. Yeah. I knew Don well. Yeah, he taught me a lot, so, you know, I'm very excited. And, well, I'll tell you what, you got a great staff, the food is excellent, and you take personal care of a lot of people that are in here as well. And I know everybody appreciates it, so we want, when you come to Rapid City, South Dakota, make the Texas Roadhouse 
your restaurant to come here and enjoy some delicious steaks and they got a great menu so jeremy thanks again i appreciate it i know you're busy thank you sir. all right there you go texas roadhouse rapid city south dakota jeremy baum listen i'm at the stone house saloon here in the middle of nowhere and i have no idea where it is so i'm going to let these two brothers tell me where it is and how it came about and first of all tell me who you are all right i'm uh cliff cling uh, born and born and raised here just down the creek this is part of the family ranch here and your name yeah colin cling all right now you have a ranch and tell me how about this house and how all this got started okay well this stone house behind us here was a an, an old homestead it was built in the late 1800s and it became abandoned and part of the family ranch and uh, for years and years it just sat abandoned and in 2000 my dad had the idea that he wanted to open this place up and create a biker bar and so this is what it's become today and uh, this is our 19th year in business wow any other stories to go along with that no it's just always been every like a lot on wednesdays everybody's always going to heal it and right. so just a solid string of bikes going by and thought well if you could get a buck off the after every bike bike that went by maybe do pretty good for business right so. um what uh, the, the where where is it located actually and what county or city oh well, we're about west of Belfouche, seven miles here so um, you you consider Belfouche Belfouche to be your home yeah the closest big town <laughs> or otherwise aladdin's down the road about another seven miles but it's only 15 people population so and you're in south dakota we're in south dakota but the state line's three miles west of here and wyoming you'd be in wyoming then <laughs> okay all right well i tell you what you're right off the highway and i mean there's a lot of bikers here and i'm sure like yesterday because i know everybody goes to hewlett on wednesday so i'm sure this place was packed yesterday guys listen great story and you sold it yes we did sell it this year uh, we've handed it over from uh, one ranch family to the next there's a new ranch family that bought it uh, the Besslers and they uh, they have a place on the other side of Belfouche and also in uh, northern South Dakota they've got a place too so real happy about the new owners it's a ranch family and I think they'll do a good job with it well, I want to ask you how much they paid for it anyway. Hey, listen, it's a, it's a great destination. You got to stop here at this Stone House Saloon. All right. <laughs>
Diane Crooks, Tech, Wisconsin. Today is our last day here in Sturgis and the surrounding area. So Bob and I thought we'd uh, make a run here on the uh, Needles Highway. <clears throat> and behind me is one of the um, single tunnels. We just came through one earlier. So we're going to go through. There's a little bit of a hole up because a goat was in the uh, in the road in the tunnel. But anyway, this is Needles Highway, and it's uh, the rock formations are absolutely gorgeous. It's just some place that you have to come and visit. So Needles Highway, and uh, this is the end of our trip. And we want to thank you all for watching. Visit us on writeit.tv. Banana boat stays on in all kinds of conditions, like the ocean, the sun, in the pool, and even 100 degree heat. Stays on in seven conditions. Banana boat, we've got you covered. to guarding your diesel engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance you demand. Amsoil Signature Series diesel oils provide six times more wear protection than required by a leading diesel engine manufacturer. Give your hardworking truck the protection it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. See the whole line of diesel products at amsoil.com slash diesel. Write It, the Motorcycle TV series, offers options to advertise or be a sponsor on the show or advertise on the Write It website with a dealership, parts distributor, accessories, apparel, accommodations, toy haulers and trailers, all at an affordable price. For more information, contact Write It at svtv at bellsouth.net or visit writeit.tv. David Hack's Ride It, the Motorcycle TV Series, and the 78th, 2018 Sturgis Motorcycle Rally are being brought to you by Keyboard Motorcycle Shipping, Ride It's official motorcycle transporter, Econo Lodge, Rapid City, South Dakota, the Texas Roadhouse, Rapid City, South Dakota, Banana Boat, Sun Care Products, Vanson Hines, Amzol, the first in synthetics. Dunlop motorcycle tires. Condor. North American Arms. Wrangler. FindMeSpot.com. And by Coleman, moving forward. A special thanks to all of the following. Dennis Roby, President and CEO, Keyboard Motorcycle Shipping. They can be reached at 270-737-5797. Email kcecil at keyboardcarriages.com or log on to keyboardmotorcycleshipping.com. To Mitch Eller, General Manager, Econo Lodge, Rapid City, South Dakota. 
They can reach at 605-342-6400. Jeremy Baum, Managing Partner of the Texas Roadhouse, Rapid City, South Dakota. Call 605-341-2901. Rick Usted, Director, Wall Drug. They can be reached at 605-279-2175 or walldrug.com. Brandy Hunsaker, Ruby House Restaurant, Keystone, South Dakota, 605-666-4404 or rubyhousekeystone.com. Michael Dane Coronado, Ponderosa Cafes, 307-467-5335 or theponderosacafe.com. Kevin Leal, Rapid Shuttle. They can be reached at rapidshuttle.com or Questions or comments about the show, email svtv at bellsouth.net and log on to writeit.tv for sponsors and advertising information. And until next time, write safe.